you hear that? Hey makers, welcome to another video. And you now I did not upload a single video for a while because I have a good reason for that. Ta da! I finally finished my DIY 3D printing CNC machine, which is uh, similar to the 3080 CNC machine. It's just uh, more powerful, but it has less cutting space, which we'll talk about uh, in the future. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I designed a vacuum cleaner for it because it's it's producing a lot of dust, that dust everywhere. And if you've been in the channel, you know that my workshop is basically my room. I I literally sleep like 15 centimeters away from the camera right now. It's that's that's my bed. Um, so um, I, I I need to keep it as clean as possible. You know. Plus, I have a 3D printer. Uh, the CNC does not like dust. It can get uh, into the bearings, and with uh, with the grease, it's gonna be like uh, it's it's gonna be a mess. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I model it. Actually, I found a model that I uh, I modified, and how I managed to insert it on my CNC machine. Now, this is similar to the 30 by 80 CNC machine. So if you have a CNC like that. Uh, this will work absolutely fine. Oops. Uh, before I, I start, if you want to have uh, sneak peeks on the uh, CNC, I'm planning to make a full tutorial on the CNC machine. But if you just you know want to know it better, you can find everything on my Instagram account, which is somewhere right here, or my Facebook page, which somewhere here. Uh, so yeah, so let's get into the build. So the build is very simple, so you need uh, something like this, which I think it's called a nozzle or something, that you need two of these and an adapter, which we'll talk about in just a second. So first of all, this part right here is the one responsible for just sucking all the dust, so it should be close to your uh, bed, like I'm installing right here, and because you're not always going to use the same height for a bit. Sometimes you are just gonna cut deeper. Sometimes it's just uh, scratching, uh, engraving. So I wanted this to be adjustable so I can slide it up and down. And this is where this part come in. So it's basically like, uh, uh, it's like uh, the negative part of this. So this stick like here and it can actually slide up and down and the other part here, just stick on top of it, and with some pressure, it, it's it stops it from sliding. And this is you know, now the the circuit of this vacuum cleaner. And because I have a powerful uh, vacuum, which this one right here, and because it has this this tube right here or this this thingy right here, the cylinder, I actually had to make an adapter. To just put it here, and in this side, I've used oops, this tube right here, which is a water tube. I will leave the dimensions somewhere here on the screen in both millimeters and inches. So basically, it goes up right here, and this part you just stick it right here. It's actually a tight fit, so that's how you like it and how it should be. So with this, you can just you know, use your big vacuum cleaner to just suck all the air. And just a quick note, if you have a small uh, vacuum, for example this one, which I'm running it uh, with 3.7 lithium battery, it's not going to work. It works uh, if it's close to the dust. So after you're cutting, you want to just clean the bed. Yes, you can use something like this. But if you want to hook it up to a, a long tube, then it's not going to work. Uh, my vacuum, the one that I'm using right now, it's 2000 watts. Well, I'm not using the 2000, I'm using something in the um, lowest settings. It's powerful enough to suck all the dusts, uh, which I will show you uh, a test in a minute. But something that you need to keep in mind is 
If you want to use uh, a tube that is flexible, like this one, don't use a small diameter like this one. Where is it? Tube, where are you? Yes. And here's why. Do you hear that? Yeah, if you don't want to hear a siren in your CNC machine, don't put uh, this kind of tube. You know, it's, the, the problem is it's, uh, it's a small diameter and it has a lot of uh, like this weird shape which actually make it like rigid and flexible at the same time. Uh, this thing, when the air passes through, I'm not sure what's the physical uh, uh, phenomenon that is happening here, but just it's making this sound. Yes, and believe me, you don't want it in your CNC machine. It's very loud, especially if you have a powerful vacuum. That it's it's insane. Okay, so uh, with that, so you want something like this, which is uh, perfectly cylinder, and yeah, with this, let's go into the build.